Our next question this week comes from a female, and here's what she wrote in. I was sexually abused by my father for several years as a child, and I was raped when I was 15. Now I can't climax unless I'm fantasizing about being raped or we're role-playing it. I'm nervous to talk to those that I care about, such as my current boyfriend or my therapist, because I feel like it makes me a sick person. What are your thoughts specifically? Can you talk about the confusion that comes from this? I did not enjoy these experiences, so why am I fantasizing about being forced now? Thank you so much for reaching out and sending this question in. There's so many people that have been abused as kids, as well as teenagers and young adults, and have been violated in different ways. You're not the only one, and most importantly, you're not a sick person. I want to encourage you not to feel that way. You haven't done anything to make yourself be a sick person. This idea of role playing that you're doing with your boyfriend, you're doing it in a trustworthy situation. Rape and violence is about having, especially when it comes to fantasies, about having absolutely no control of what's happening to you. And when you role play this with your boyfriend, you're giving up that control and giving up that power and giving it to him. And that helps you enjoy and have pleasure from it. What happened when you were young, and as well as what happened when you were a teenager, this helped set your sexual template. You didn't enjoy these things, you didn't create these things, you didn't make these things happen, but they did happen to you, and they're a part of this template. And it makes sense at times now that you can't climax or enjoy sex unless it's replicated into this template. It's so ingrained in you, it makes sense that you call on this to help you get to another space. I want to encourage you not to feel shame, embarrassment, or guilt for any of these feelings that you have towards your therapist since you trust him and you feel connected, and as well as your boyfriend. Opening up and sharing with him about this may help him better understand you and help you improve trust within the relationship. And it's okay to talk about, especially since you're role-playing these scenarios and situations. Don't worry about feeling confused. Sex can be a very confusing thing. What happens to us as we grow up and, and things that happen in our lives set these templates for us and it being so ingrained in you, it is making you rely on these types of scenarios and role playing to reach climax. Remember, these things are only a problem if it bothers you. If this isn't causing a problem for you personally, if it's not causing a problem for your relationship, then it's not a problem. So there are several people that have rape fantasies and role playing that have had no abuse, that have had no situations of trauma in the past. So if people can fantasize about this and have this as a snare in their role playing and them not go through this, it definitely doesn't make you sick that you have been through this. Things that people fantasize and find um, enriching for their sexuality should be a place of no judgment. I want to encourage you to not judge yourself so harshly. Enjoy what feels good to you and as long as it's not causing a problem, Continue doing what feels good for you. Thank you so much for writing in this question. Take care.